Choosing a life partner isn't just a heart's whim. It's a journey deeply rooted in our childhood experiences. This journey, often cloaked in the allure of romance, leads us through a maze of emotions and attractions shaped by our earliest connections. The ideology of romance, enchanting yet misleading, teaches us to follow our hearts, promising ecstatic unions with the seemingly perfect individual who can bring us unparalleled happiness. This pursuit of warmth and kindness, grounded in the Romantic era's ideals, aims to eradicate the unhappiness tied to traditional methods of partner selection, such as arranged marriages or pragmatic unions. However, the reality we face is starkly different. Trusting solely in our instincts often steers us toward unforeseen disappointments, as the settings where love supposedly blossoms, nightclubs, parties, online spaces, rarely lead to the fulfillment of our deeper needs. The romantic narratives celebrated in art and culture have not paved the way to happier, more enduring marriages. Reflecting on historical practices where marriages were strategic alliances reveals that neither pure instinct nor calculated choice has served us well in crafting lasting love stories. The turning point in understanding love comes from psychology, challenging the notion that instinct alone will guide us to the happiness we seek. It reveals a profound truth. We fall for those who mirror the treatment we've grown accustomed to since childhood, not necessarily those who match our idealized criteria for care and affection. This insight highlights a significant divergence from our romantic ideals. The love we yearn for as adults is often a replay of childhood patterns, which, laden with codependency, can obstruct our path to genuine happiness and growth. Our quest for love, we discover, is not purely a search for joy, but a pursuit of familiarity. We seek to recreate the emotional landscapes of our youth, where love intertwined with a spectrum of other, sometimes destructive, dynamics. This revelation prompts a re-evaluation of whom we're drawn to and why. It urges us to consider whether our attractions are genuinely conducive to happiness or merely reenactments of past patterns. This introspection reveals an unsettling paradox. We might shy away from potential partners, not because they lack merit, but because they exemplify qualities foreign to our understanding of love. Their stability, maturity, and understanding, though ostensibly desirable, feel alien and undeserved, highlighting our internal conflict between the familiar and the genuinely nourishing. Wisely choosing a partner, therefore, requires a deep dive into our psyche, confronting the hidden influences of our past sufferings on our romantic choices. By critically examining our attractions and aversions, we embark on a quest to understand the qualities that truly resonate with our deepest selves. This process of self-discovery, challenging yet enlightening, allows us to discern between the allure of the familiar and the potential for a healthier, more fulfilling connection. In essence, our love stories are not just about seeking happiness, but understanding the intricate web of influences that shape our desires and fears. Recognizing these patterns, born out of our earliest relationships, empowers us to make choices that break free from the past, paving the way for a love that is both liberating and enduring. In this pursuit, we learn that the path to wise partner selection is not just about finding the right person, but also about evolving into someone capable of recognizing and nurturing true love.